Good morning my YouTube viewers, it's Crystal here. Um, I just wanted to make you another video and this one is going to be on the long log normal distribution and hopefully I won't get tongue tied in this video like I did in the last video. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the log normal distribution and how you can make it in uh, Excel. So the first thing that you're going to need in your Excel spreadsheet is you're going to need to input your values. And so what we're going to do is we're going to input uh, random variables between 1 and 50. And so you're going to, in cell A3, you're going to use the rand between 1, 50 and put that in A3 and then copy that all the way down to, I believe, like A35. So that'll give you like 32 uh, input variables that you can use for your log normal distribution. And then after you have um, done A3, then what you're going to do is you're going to calculate the mean of the input variables and that's going to be the average from A3 to A35 because in Excel they say the mean is average. And then after you've done that, you want to calculate the standard deviation of the input variables. And when you calculate the standard deviation of the input variables, um, then that gives you the calculations that you're going to need to um, make make this distribution. So after you've input the variables, then what you need is you're going to need to calculate the natural logarithm of the variables. So you're going to go to cell B3 and you're going to use the formula equals ln A3 and then what that will do is um, give you the natural logarithm and you're going to need to copy that formula all the way down to cell B, uh, I think it's 35, B35, all the way down to B35 and then that's going to give you the natural logarithm and then you'll be able to see the natural logarithm on the chart that I have made for this purpose. And now what you're going to need, after you've calculated the natural logarithm, you're going to need to get the log normal of the natural logarithm. And that's going to be, um, you're going to use the log norm dot dist function to do that. And it's going to be on B3, dollar sign b dollar sign 37 and dollar sign b dollar sign 38 and then false so the dollar signs on the cell indicate that it's an absolute reference and the false indicates that it's a pdf a uh, probability distribution function and so what you're going to do is you're going to copy that all the way down to uh, d35 as well and that will give you your log normal and you can see here, this is your log normal and what it looks like on the graph that I've made. After you have calculated your log normal PDF, you're going to want to calculate your log normal CDF. And so that's going to be, you're going to use the log norm function and it's going to be exactly the same formula, but instead of false, you're going to put true. And the reason why is because uh, true is CDF and false is PDF. And you're going to copy that all the way down to F35. And then what that will do is that will give you the CDF, uh, the log normal CDF. So you'll be able to see how that works. Um, and then I've already made the charts, but I want to show you how you can make the chart 
if you want to. So we'll pick the log normal CDF. And what you want to do is you want to block off the cells that you want the um, the graph to be. And then you come over here to insert and then you can do recommended charts. So the recommended chart that it gives you is the uh, XY scatter plot. But we can come over here to all charts and see if there's something that we can use. No. XY scatter scatter XY scatter chart seems to be the best. And um then XY seems to be the best that we can use. And then so you can check other types of charts to see I personally don't see anything that I like here. Um, this is a hard distribution to do. It's the XY distribution is the best XY scatter. And um, there's only one chart that it will give you. So the only thing that we would get that would give us the uh, type of diagram that we want is this one here. So I'm not going to do it again, but what because we've already got it on the, the spreadsheet. But what you would do is you would press OK. You would click onto the chart that you want, and then you would press OK, and that would give you. A new chart, but we've already done that. We've got the log, the natural logarithm, the log normal, and the for the PDF and the CDF. So that gives you what you're looking for. So that's it for this video. Um, hopefully, I did a better job on this video than I did the last one. The last one it was in the middle of the night, and my tongue didn't want to work properly. So hopefully you'll like this one better. So if you like my video, please like and sh subscribe. And um, I look forward to communicating with you in the next video where we will be talking about another distribution.